Hi guys, here Daniele. Welcome to another lesson about photography. Today you are going to learn how to use shutter speed, aperture, ISO, and I am trying to explain you this concept in the easiest way possible. This is the world through my eyes. Hi. For understanding how the camera works, we have to start from something that we know very well, like a human eye. Basically, a human eye works as a camera, or we can say the contrary. The components that constitute uh, an eye are very different than a camera, but you will see that each component is making the same or similar jobs. So let's start to understand how it constitutes a human eye. Eyes are the organs of vision. They detect light and convert it into electrical chemical impulses in neurons. In our organism, the eye is a complex optical system which collects light from the surrounding environment, regulates its density through a diaphragm, focuses it from an adjustable assembly of the lenses to form an image, converts this image into a set of electrical signals and transmit these signals to the brain through complex neural pathways that connect the eye via the optic nerve to the visual cortex and the other area of the brain. Wow, <sighs> sounds complicated, isn't it? Don't worry and follow me. The iris. The iris is a thin circular structure in the eye responsible for controlling the diameter and the size of the pupil and thus the amount of light reaching the retina. Eye color is defined by that of iris. In optical terms, pupil is the eye's aperture, while iris is the diaphragm that serves as the aperture stop. Here you can see a comparison between the human eyes and the camera. In the human eyes, the iris is like the aperture above the camera. In a camera of a DSLR, digital single lens reflex, the iris of the camera is the shutter. You can see that in the middle there is an hole, the light coming from the hole and it's captured from the sensor or the film in an analogic version. The hole is compared to the poopy of a human eye. In the human eye, the iris stretch or reduce the dimension of the pupil. That is the same in the camera where enlarge or reduce the aperture. In both cases, the light intensity is the reason why it happens all the time. Dark light or in a night light, the human eye opens the pupil, the hole of the camera shut, to the maximum for letting entry through it uh, more light and be able to see in the dark condition. In the daylight or in a room with intense light, the iris or shutter in the camera reduce the pupil, the hole in the camera. Because for be able to see in this condition, with intensity light, the eye needs to capture a little light, otherwise what they will see be all white. With a big damage of the eye system, because uh, more long the eye is exposed to this big amount of light, more will be the risks uh, to become blind. In the camera the mechanism is the same, so the iris uh, that uh, in the camera is the shutter must be closed and the dimension of the aperture will depend from the intensity of the light. More bright will be the light and more small has to be the hole of the aperture. In the human eye and in the camera both there is a lens that is transmissive optical device that affect the focus of the light beam through reflection. In a camera, a simple lens consists of a single piece of material, uh, while a compound lens consists of several simple lenses, elements. Usually along a common axis, lenses are made from transparent material, uh, such as glass, ground and polished to a desired shape. But uh, in a human eye, we have the crystalline lens that is transparent. 
biconvex structure that along with the cornea helps to refract light to be focused on the retina. The lens, by changing shape, function to change the focal distance of the eye so that it can focus an object at various distances, thus allowing a sharper real image of the object of interest to be formed on the retina. This adjustment of the lenses is known as accommodation. Accommodation is similar to focusing a photographic camera via movement of its lenses. The lens is more flat on its anterior side than on its posterior side. A lens can focus light to form an image, unlike a prism, which refracts light without focusing. But there is something that the human eye doesn't have, shutter speed and ISO. In a camera, as I said before, the amount of light is controlled by shutter. But when you shoot a picture, the hole that uh, the shutter is enlarging or reducing depends on the light condition. That hole before you shoot a picture is closed. But in the camera, there is a sensor. The sensor is covered by a shutter, separated from lens. This shutter normally is covered in a DSLR from a mirror that lets the photographer see the object or the panorama that he wants to shoot in directly through the optic of the lens. When the photographer pushes the button for shooting the picture, the mirror lifts up and in a fraction of a second later the shutter or the sensor is open for the time that the photographer as set up it. This is the shutter speed, the speed in which the shutter open, let him pass through the light and then close again. It could be one second, half second or one two hundred and fifty of a second. More fast the shutter speed open and close and less light coming through it. More slow it open and close and more light is captured. Of course, the shutter speed is used uh, depends on the picture intent. If the object is moving fast, the shutter speed uh, must be very fast for freezing the object in that moment. If the object is uh, motionless, like in a moment, the shutter could be more slow. In a dark light, you can shoot a picture with a shutter speed of uh, 30 seconds, for example, or one minute. But the camera must be stable on a tripod or in a stand, because each picture movements may make the picture move. Then there is another thing that we can compare with the sensitivity of the human eye. That is the ISO. We know that the human eye can see in the dark light, not deep dark light. But the cat is able to see more than a human eye. This is the sensitivity of uh, the eye and depends on the light sensitive cell of the retina in the eye. If the eye is a human or of an animal like a cat, the eyes of camera refer to film speed, even though your camera is more likely not film at all, but red or digital, the eyes of camera setting still has the same function as in older film cameras. ISO uh, determines uh, how sensitive the image sensor is to the light. If you set up your digital camera to a low ISO, for example 100, the resulting photograph will be better quality than one set uh, one 600. The higher the ISO, the more grainy the photo will look. Therefore, go for a low ISO number whenever possible. For make it simple to understand, in a light condition, very dark, in the night, for example, where you need uh, to shoot a picture, if you have a dark lens, it means a lens that can't be so bright, because the aperture is really high, like 5 or 3.5. In this case, you don't have much light, and you need to increase the ISO for intensify the light. And like I said before, if there is an object not stable, like a human or a cat, you need to increase the ISO for having more light, at the same time increasing the shutter speed for making it very fast, 
uh, for having a better result and not a moving picture. Yes, you can use uh, the flash, but the flash will make the object bright, like the guy standing in front of you at the moment of the shoot, but not the monument behind him that will be dark or not natural. For concluding, Ison can help you in a dark condition, but maybe it's not a better solution uh, for shooting a great picture. High ISO brings you a lot of noise, many white points on your picture, and that will make your picture look like poor and low quality. It's recommending to set up ISO to the low and trying to find another way for getting more light and for having more quality. But remember, all depends from the quality of your camera. Expenses reflex, in fact, maintaining acceptable quality even if ISO are very high. Now you know how to use aperture, shutter speed, ISO and how the camera works comparing to a human eye. I hope you enjoyed my video, if you liked thumb up and subscribe if you didn't, let a comment below if you liked or for asking something that you want to know. And uh, you can share this video for let your friends know about it. And uh, from the moment that I am a new channel, help me to grow. So, as always, thanks for watching.